I want to try and make this video and I hope the child in this house will let me make this video to you guys so guys I'm back with another video come on in I want us to have a conversation regarding the topic of the video and I know that right now it's the time I am waiting for a couple of people to tune in hey 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 hello Adama's vlog hello beautiful hey hey Mel Melody I'm waiting for everybody like people to try and and tune in onto this live because I feel like something needs to be discussed here and don't mind my dreadlocks they are baby locks still as you can see I'm still trying to rock them time like with time they will look great but for now just don't look here but I'm not apologizing for my hair or the way they look this is how God made me this is how they grow from my scalp and we are gonna have to uh, uh, to sort of accept people just the way they are so I'm coming with to you guys just the way I am you know for, for you guys who are used to my to my videos you know how I come here on YouTube no makeup nothing we are candid we have a conversation you know just as as we are no judgment here talking about judgment the topic of the video I want to be a little bit more sensitive because it's a very sensitive topic and it is regarding the happenings uh, something that happened to one of our African sisters Nicole Thea you guys the news is going all over the social media and I'm sure that you guys have seen her news of uh, Nicole Thea's passing she's one of our youtuber youtubers who is very popular here on YouTube fields with almost a uh, hundred plus thousand followers and she also have a huge following on Instagram and the news just broke out that she passed away alongside her her son and obviously the 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 family made it public for for people on Instagram as in I think the the, the boyfriend Boga has a, her Instagram handle as in her Instagram account password or whatever so he went and and posted and sort of to just uh, break the news to her followers so for you, those of you who doesn't know nicole thea i had never heard about nicole thea to be honest i just want to be honest with you guys i came to know about her on the blogs and on the news because i follow lots of blogs and lots of news channels so that is where i came to know about her and when i saw that she is a youtuber and i was like youtuber i am a youtuber and i've never heard of that such a name so I just sort of went and searched her name here on YouTube and saw her videos. And I know that there's a lot of confusion with a lot of people are going on her, her YouTube and finding that there's a video that was posted yesterday or, you know, and they are confused. How come she is dead, but have, her channel is sort of very active, this video that has been made yesterday. But just to let you guys know that it was confirmed that those videos were pre-recorded by Nicole herself and so her boyfriend is the one who is uploading those videos so she left them pre-recorded pre um, yeah for her so anywho i know that by now you guys know know exactly what happened to no actually people don't know what happened to nicole because uh, when the family announced on instagram her passing she they didn't really they didn't really say exactly what was the cause of her death but we can just assume make assumptions and say that it could have been something related to her pregnancy so i sorry i had a noise <laughs> it could have been something related to her pregnancy and first of all before i read to you the things that are being said on the blogs the things that are like especially what the the topic of this video i want to um what was i saying man you guys when i am making a, a video and i hear background noises things just evaporate because now i have to be conscious because somebody just arrived and now i have to lower down my voice but i'll try to do because we have my host is not feeling well 
she's uh, uh, she's down with some sort of um, flu or something. So anyway, I digress. Okay. What I wanted to say is that on this YouTube, I have seen on blogs, people are talking. And obviously, as African community, we can always sort of talk about these topics because you know that these type of topics, especially because you know even online that um, if you read on Google, you will find the the rate of, of maternal uh, deaths in black women are quite high compared to other ethnicities. So this is something that needs reinforcement and needs people to create awareness regarding. And also if you are not in, if you are outside Africa, I would say, or, or, or if you are in diaspora, you should know that even in the UK and the US, those are uh, places where the mortality rates when it comes to maternal uh, deaths on African women, African American, black women as a whole, is sort of very high. And with right now, it is 2020, and the medical ex experts like Medi uh, it's very advanced. The treatments are very advanced. We don't understand why exactly it's right now, as we speak, we are on to in 2020, and still there are uh, uh, maternal uh, deaths, high maternal death rates at this age and time. So I think we need, because there is, there is a, pati a petition that I have put on my, on my community post here on YouTube regarding Nicole Thier, especially for the people who, who actually live in the UK. You can sign a petition so that the, the matter can be discussed in the UK parliament so that they can do better when it comes to, uh, to this type of issues. Because when you watch Nicole Thier's video, you could see that even though she was saying that in her pregnancy she was feeling fine, she was feeling good and everything, but you could see that she was in pain and, and she kept complaining that she was getting out of breath. And, you know, like I know that a lot of women, I've never been pregnant myself, but I know that a lot of women uh, usually, I want to say that people usually ignore some, some, some symptoms and saying, ah, you are carrying a, an entire human being so it will be very normal as a as a you know for you to feel these kind of things that you're feeling but guys it is different from from uh, from a woman to a woman you know especially for the first uh, it was her first pregnancy if she was the way she was uh, talking about how she felt i felt like something was not right but she just didn't know how to um how to stop spreading fake news and assumption. Um, Sophie, I am going to block you. I'm going to remove you. And I am going to let you go, please. Here we are talking about, about creating awareness. Okay, so please. Mm. So I'm going to remove you because if you don't want to, to listen, just go. Just go, okay? Yeah. Sophie, if you don't want to listen, just go. Regarding the, the, the topic, I have not even reached the topic and already you have jumped into conclusion. So you better just sit there, watch if you want to watch. Otherwise, you need to just leave. Leave this video altogether. We don't, here, we are not here for that. So first of all, I have to talk about the background of where I'm coming from, and you don't need to tell me what to do, okay? This is internet, and we can create awareness if we feel like we can create awareness. So anyway, with her, with her, with her, regarding what I watched on her video, was it felt like she was feeling very un un uncomfortable, and it could have been so many things that might have happened to her in her pregnancy, especially first pregnancies, women usually suffer preeclampsia and me personally i have never been pregnant but these are things that i go and google and find out what are the pregnancy dangers that people can go go through and all that and again sometimes when you are in diaspora you have to know that the system is not set for you 
So you have to, especially when she was, she had abnormal breathing, you know, she felt the way she was describing, the way she was describing was a bit like, it felt like, like uh, her shortness of breath was, it felt like it was something deep, you know, it was, it was something dangerous the way she was, she was uh, feeling. And it's not something that needs to be ignored. You have to go to the ER, you have to, or not, not even to your midwife, because I'm sure that women are usually assigned midwives in the, in, in, in the UK. I'm not sure if you, if I, if, if, if I make a mistake with saying this, just correct me on the comment section. But she, there was a point that she said that she felt uh, really a very bad shortness of breath and she went to her midwife and the midwife sort of just brushed it off. So when she brushed, brushed it off and told her, ah, you're carrying an entire human being, of course you will feel it and you'll feel shortness of breath and all that. So she just went back home and she kept feeling the same thing, pain here and there. And, you know, she was saying, oh, I feel pain in my legs. I felt, you know, when you analyze her video, you could see that that she was feeling some random pains and very bad so shortness of breath and, and vomiting and all this. And I can really tell you that when I, I googled the um, symptoms of pre preeclampsia, most of the symptoms that she was talking about uh, really, really uh, uh, copy paste of what preeclampsia is. So this lady might have been suffering from this. It's not known what is the cause of her death or what not. And I don't want to, but I just want to let her death be also because she was here on YouTube. And we can also still raise awareness by this kind of things is that you have to insist, especially when she went to the doctor and the doctor, the doctor if one doctor turned you down, go to another doctor. Because sometimes, because of her first pregnancy, and she was so young, 24 years old. So anyway, there's a petition that I have put on my community post. If you live in the UK, please go and follow that petition and go and um, click it and sign a petition so that maternal, um, for, so that the government of the UK can, can actually discuss this matter and try to do something to lower maternal death rates when it comes to black women in, in diaspora. So please go and follow that. And so now the topic of the video. Um, there is a lady, let me go, go to, the, to the, there is a lady, I will go here, one minute. There's a lady by the name, Kemi O. Olun, Olun Loyo. And these are, uh, I suppose she is a Nigerian, a Nigerian, um, Nigerian celebrity. So she posted on Facebook, on, on her, on social media, and she was just saying uh, to, she was, she was saying, stop exposing your personal pregnancy life on social media. And this is what she goes and said, according to Kemi, not everyone are happy for your pregnancy. Kemi added that some women who flaunt their pregnancy online end up losing their baby. And she continues to say, now this, is, this was a, her post. She says, for me, it is a personal opinion. First of all, her post is a personal opinion. And this is the reason why now the topic of the video is coming from her post. I know that some of you are like, go to your point. What is your point? You're not even, you don't even, you don't even care about me talking about raising awareness or talking to you about the partition. You just want to know, get to the point and give us the gossip. Are you okay? See your life. Anyway, I digress. So this lady was saying that for me, it is a personal opinion. How come so many showing their pregnant belly on this, this app always lose their baby and now her life? Nicole is dead. Pregnant ladies is believed. Okay. Pregnant ladies, I believe in this, in this destruction juju. Okay, this, are, this is an American, an, an, a West African woman talking. She's saying, pregnant ladies, I believe in this destruction juju. Stop ex exposing your personal pregnancy life on social media. Not everyone is happy for you. This young pregnant media personality lost her life and the baby. Her family wants privacy while, while, while most of you want to know what killed her. And then she continues to say that this is where I, I come in. 
but you now see my why investigative journalism with no finding ends i know how okay i know how she died i will come out later from them a mouthful of sadness health gone and life ended i don't know what is she she's a nigerian so probably what she's uh, what she's writing her english is a bit a month full of silent health gone and life ended the opposite of her caption lord please watch over us may she rest in peace and for me anyway now i want to read for you the comments west africans women or people as a whole are reacting and now there is a comment regarding this post there's someone who say okay this one this one don't die now i mean guys most of these things that they are commenting are Afri are nigerian accent because it's a nigerian blog post so okay this one don't die now people don't realize say exposing pregnancy is very bad but that time Simide exposed her own people were saying leave her to live her life that that this is modern world oh my god may she rest in peace another one auntie auntie kemi that is the truth now kemi is the one who's posted auntie kemi that is the truth you are very right being pregnant being pregnant is personal to you and your immediate family and and be praying for divine delivery for christ jesus may her soul rest in peace another one goes why even expose your pregnancy on social media it will only invite evil eyes to harm you or your innocent child is a very sad one may her soul rest in peace another one is saying hmm a life in edo language as for me oh i really don't do not like it all at all i can only post if after given birth village people are everywhere including social media and another one is saying you are right let them continue as long as africa is concerned i will never be part of it not in my life i don't believe in such as in she doesn't believe in juju rather take pictures for future reference keep it in your home um, what is social media women please stop imitating foreigners we are forever africans and a lot of replies on that and then somebody is saying auntie kemi for the first time you nailed well tell them please because your mother gave birth to well and very responsible generation but never do what we are seeing in today's world the celebrities are telling today's women how to dress how to appear and how to think my question is this what has happened to the men of the generation that they can no, no longer stand up for the integrity for 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 integrity anymore why have the men become almost all of Huh? Why have the men become almost all of them woman rapper, rappers? Please, men, stand up for your position as the head and reduce insanity. So the reason why I am reading like this is because most of the people who've posted on this post are actually Nigerians. And you can know the Nigerian accent is different. Somebody else is saying, I tell you all. Oh, the way pregnant women are flaunting their pregnancies on social media to de wanda me me everywhere now na baby shower if you're pregnant now without doing baby shower or not showing your pregnancy to the world you'll be old class i sorry we now on we now if only them them now wait them call for that unborn innocent child them think na too much love and happiness them get for that child them no no say now that <laughs> now that children's destiny <laughs> destiny them take give them way way the rule the darkness kingdom i sorry winner <laughs> guys it's not 
sorry guys it's not a laughing matter but like this english my god somebody else is saying did you not say you live okay somebody somebody is actually talking to her but anyway let me read to you another one she she truly right because not everyone is happy for you we have to be mindful of what we post on social media somebody else is saying kami is right to some extent you never can tell who is wishing your downfall uh, some people may post their, theirs and nothing happened to them while some might post and village people go enter their matter we just have to be careful and know the kind of background we come from and by the way the lady was was very frequent in in uh, ghana she's from ghana and she she went to ghana there was a, last year she was in ghana and even she posted a videos on her social media when she was in ghana so her background is she's ghanaian somebody is saying may her soul rest in peace i think our women need to stop doing this showing your baby bump to the world even before baby was born is too bad i remember them when my sister was i remember then when my sister was pregnant mom will always caution her not to 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 uh swear to wear short dresses uh, she should always tie pin around her belly bump and not take any picture of herself but things have turned upside down now somebody else is saying she is right Pa, I've said to our tradition in Africa does not like these things, but uh, colonialists change our brain, brothers and sisters, let's respect our traditions, I am African. Somebody else goes, what if she had complications or an ailment unknown to anyone, but still, it's still not good to announce pregnancy on social media. Again, um, Somebody, Nisi Senia is asking me who, what is preeclampsia. Just go and Google it. There is, there is, it's a medical condition happening to most uh, pregnant, especially first pregnancies. Go and, guys, you need to know about women fertilities and all these things. Educate yourself. You don't just wait for nurses to tell you things about your health or things that might happen. And I hear that, I read that it is as easy as taking aspirin. Uh, 81, 81 dose, 81, as easy as just taking aspirin during, after 12 weeks of being pregnant. And again, checking your blood pressure and, uh, you know, and all that. Uh, monthly monitoring, checking your blood pressure and all that. And, and in her case, if that was the case, then she, to just to save your life when you are suffering, if the doctor had found out that she was suffering from preeclampsia, to save your life and the life of your babies is just uh, they would just actually take you in early delivery they deliver the child first that is the only cure for it as in for you to be get better you need to have the baby out of your tummy but if the baby does not come out you might end up dying and your baby because the cause of preeclampsia is that the veins that uh, in your the the blood is it called blood veins you know like the blood veins that that connect uh, nutrients, oxygen, and whatever uh, that connects your placenta with the uh, you know that vein is affected. So I think it gets narrow and something. If you are a nurse or a doctor, please explain to us what is preeclampsia and how does or go to Google even easier. So it it happens that now your baby does not get enough oxygen and and the blood flow does not go well into the placenta and it affects you, can easily affect the baby, affect you and, and cause your death. So whoever is a nurse can explain to that better for us. And again, so I continue, I'm gonna continue uh, reading. It is sad that we live in a society where we are free to take pictures until after childbirth because we are scared of what people will do to the child realistic but sad somebody is saying that it's actually sad that we cannot do this social media showing our bellies and doing whatever we want because we are afraid of evil eyes but like for me it's like honestly this is this is just me and maybe it's based on my my traditions or maybe based on where i'm coming from an african and all that 
I feel like there are some things that you don't just, you don't just bear to the world. I just feel like this because you don't know who's following you. We have a lot of, lots of witches and wizards all over social media nowadays. You know, it's easy for somebody to come here and do whatever. There are lots of things are spiritual in this life. If you don't believe in the spiritual world, please just listen to what the people who are, who, who, you know, there is African tradition. And unfortunately, we have African traditions and there's a lot of witchcraft and there's a lot of juju that is even happening as we speak now. So just there are things that you just need to keep it to yourself. You just need to protect. If you cannot open your door and, you know, open your position to the public and open it to the public and tell them, come in, take whatever you want, do whatever you want. You cannot expose your money and your possessions and everything to the to the world and tell them guys look what i have like as in literally because you are afraid of people thieves coming into your house and stealing it so what is it about how deep is carrying a child you know how deep is carrying a son you know how deep is it that not even for yourself but can't you protect the, the that child himself can't you protect him from the world can't you just protect his privacy as a child you know, whatever you're carrying. So I think that it's very necessary. For me, it's like, even when I'm traveling, I don't necessarily say I'm traveling and this is the date I'm traveling. Like, I just, I just want to keep it to myself. And even when, uh, when people say, I, this is my due date, you know, or when people say, actually, guys, I'm carrying a son. I'm like, it's between you and your close family members. And a lot of these people, they are not, they don't care about spirituality. So they don't really care. But you see, there was a video that she made and she was saying that people need to be careful out here because there are people who might not be happy for you because of jealousy, because of this and that, and they might end up doing something horrible for you and stuff. So she was aware that there are actually people out here who can do, do you harm rather than good. But anyway, so I want to continue um, I just want to say, this is how I feel myself. It is not about bashing her. It is not about uh, being negative towards her. It's it's just like, let's come and reason out as a society. And let's let's just reason out. We Everything, the floor is open to reason out. You can as well reason out as much as you want. But using social media never wraps me the right way. Me personally. And I would never... I the, A YouTuber called... Uh, Pick a meal. That lady is also from West Africa. And because I'm sure her family, her mom, grave, engraved it in her head. For me, my mother engraved it in my head that, listen, there are jujus out here. And there are people that, that can do you harm. So you better keep your stuff and you better be careful out here. So even Pick a meal, probably her mother or her family raised her knowing that you don't just air everything. That lady has a whole, I don't know how many million followers, but you did not find the day she gave birth. Wait, not even the day she gave birth. She did not put on social media the day she got married. Nobody knew that she was married. She did not put on social media the day she had gave birth. Pika Mill continued filming throughout social me through throughout in her all social media platform. And believe me. Pikamil had a baby. Nobody knew that Pikamil was married, had a whole husband and a baby, not even baby number one, probably baby number two on the way now. And nobody had any idea. So there are people who are who understand the, the, the you know, understand this social media, but people are different. And I understand that Nicole was very different and very open, not spiritual, and I'm sure she was not aware of the spiritual world and all that because probably she was not born in Africa for her to understand the spiritual world, what happens in Ghana or even Nigeria or even Kenya. They probably have no idea. So obviously um, she had no idea. She was very naive probably. So the things that she was doing was just based on fun and making contents doesn't matter. There are people, there are ladies here or who even actually film themselves giving birth. They actually film it live. There are ladies who stream themselves giving birth live here on social media. 
Guys, that's deep. I don't know how you guys think, but really, that's deep for me. And for me, it's like I feel, I, I feel, it's not a bit be about being paranoid, but such things freak me out. Even, even coming here on social media and saying to you guys, I am pregnant and here is my belly and ooh, having a baby or baby shower and running up and down and doing this. No, I feel like, I feel like that's deep and it's for me. I don't, I don't feel comfortable. So anyway, something else, mm, like seriously, pregnancy, no need stress. This lady used to dance very hard with her condition, but she doesn't deserve to have die, her IP. And again, somebody mentioned in one of my comment sessions said, but this is, uh, this is a conspiration theory. Uh, a lot of she was a devido dancer she was a dancer who was dancing for devido she was a professional dancer so she was choreographed and danced for different um, you know different celebrities and somebody mentioned i'm not sure i don't know how sure that is that four of cele of devido dancers had died four of her, his dancers died so makes it five if she was also one of the Davido dancers, so that makes it five of the dancers died. Again, something is deep there. Something needs uh, something. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's true. Then is okay, guys. So then I want to continue reading to you guys, especially the pregnant women dancing with their baby bumps to do the challenges do challenges stuff and posting all over social media i am not condemning the song because it's a beautiful song even even me uh, me see me that sang it released the song to the world after giving birth so there was a singer that was singing and she was pregnant obviously she's called see me i think yeah here yeah. but obviously it's it it's it sounds that she only released the album of her pregnancy after she had already given birth guys even me if let's say today i was i became pregnant i would pre-record every single thing i would pre-record and then decide to release it maybe maybe not or put it in my private album home album for my child to one day look at look at it but if i am a youtuber and i feel like I have to some I might I might sort of reveal it to you guys but after I have my baby in my hand that's just me that's just me so it, it, it just depends with people so people um, somebody else goes people were dying before social media times uh, those I believe you you okay though I believe you should private should be private about some things but let who wants express their joy express it in the way they want, whether on social media or not. So there are people who are like, do you, you know, do whatever, um, do whatever you want, you know. But me, I still like, mm, no, it's, for, it's not for me. Somebody else is saying, though the idea is actually not great, people keep doing it. I just wonder what they hope to achieve with exposing or flaunting their heavy baby bumps or pandan over the social media. Somebody else is, is saying it is just written to happen like that. Even those that don't expose their, theirs die in labor too. Women see hell to bring forth a life. Only God is our strength. May her soul rest in peace. You, you are a hero. Somebody said that. Sometimes we need to humble ourselves. When happy, not everyone is happy for you. Okay, someone is saying, the best and more reasonable thing from any Nigerian is, to always, is always coming from this woman. So this, this is a man who is saying that the best and more reasonable things from any Nigerian is always coming from this woman. The woman who is actually... Uh, saying women should be careful about exposing their private stuff on social media and all that. You are right, Mark, because some people live their entire life on social media from admission to graduation to birthday to engagement to wedding. It is all 
all on their social media account, which is not always good. Um, yeah, somebody said that. And another one is saying, don't mind them. They think it is everyone or eyes that see them is genuinely happy with them. Let them continue. But then, guys, you know, with the social media, there is this trend that goes on. And it is the trend of, you know, when you get, people even get pregnant. Not, I'm not saying necessarily uh, for the, the lady who passed away, but I'm saying I know that people on social media, especially on YouTube, get pregnant for clout purposes. And they do it, and they start filming from point Z to point the day even they are in the labor room, or even the day they are giving birth. And there's a lot of people who it has, even if you look at social media itself, majority of things that gain most views or most subscriptions are videos where people are announcing these kind of things, uh, documenting their pregnancy journey, documenting their birth and delivery vlogs and all this and proposal. You know, this is what is nowadays trending. So even when you saw um, Nicole, Nicole going in with the flow of what is happening in the social media, hey, that is, that is what happens on the social media nowadays. Somebody else is saying, I support you on this. Thank God your sense on reasoning is coming back. Somebody else is saying, even after birth, both of the, both them and the newborn baby must, must everything be on Facebook. Most times when I see it, I laugh so hard. Even ever there's foolishness. So somebody is even against posting the baby itself. I am not sure about posting baby as well. To post, I feel like I would post, guys, this might change as time comes, goes by, and I'm still here on social media, I am not sure. But even posting, I might just post a finger or a feet or, <laughs> I don't know, or his back, the backside, or not post at all. I don't know. I'm that, I'm that type of a mother. So um, I would be that type of a mother. Even, okay, somebody is saying, and this is a bit long, and I will read it for you guys. Some people, okay, I'll read it for you guys. Some people accusing her. She, she gave her own advice. You may not accept it. Okay, now this person is talking about the people accusing her, the one who, accusing the person who said, do not expose your child, your bellies on social media. Some people accusing her. She gave her own advice. You may not accept it, it is fine. When you're pregnant, take your pictures and send and send to the world. If you if you like that, if you like, take it or be a learner. Some learn with their experience and some use other people's experiences to navigate danger. Other experience okay. Some learn with their experience and some use other experiences to navigate danger. It's all, it's all depends on you. We came from different families. We have different friends and people around us. You can't compare yours with others because you don't know they evolve. You don't, you don't know they evolve uh, uh, with don't be deceived. I don't know, guys. Just be safe and do sensible and reasonable things. Wise lady will take the picture and share it after their delivery, which I don't find it necessary. What always annoys me is that some ladies using it to share their nude on social media. How could you be half naked because you want to share your pregnancy bumps pictures on social media? It's really funny and crazy. She gave her own advice. And if you like it, take it or leave it. That's somebody who said that. I beg, make me hear a word. I don't want to take this video too long, but I'm going to read it for you. I beg, make me hear a word. All these women that expose theirs and still have safe delivery in cock. Marcy Johnson, Regina Daniels, and recently, <laughs> one thing you should, you should know is that you can hide inside your toilet. And if evil wants to come, it will come. So this person is saying that comparing with the other people 
who actually posted it and they are fine. They gave birth fine. But you don't know, like, some of these people, they, they are people who actually have something to cover them from every evil. Like, also them, they know how to, how to hide under it, you know, that even you throw how many arrows to them, it will not catch them because they know how to protect themselves. I, I don't know. But anyway, do not see that somebody did it and now also you, you want to do it. Abi, you better be careful. Don't see this and that did it. So, oh, I'm going to do it as well. Uh -uh, that's not what, that is not the league I play for. So this lady also said what she had to say. It is very bad. Oh. Before pregnancy, women, they hide their head. But now the naked pregnant, pregnant women, we they see for social media, God help us women. Okay, so another one says, lots of foreign celebrities show their pregnancy journey online. I'm not saying this lady ain't right. This lady ain't right. But it's a choice if you want to do it. Just that we are in a country where everybody's eyes, they read most, uh, they, they read. Most celebrities have been doing it and gave birth safely. Sometimes it's not always a spiritual thing. Uh, complications happen in pregnancies which lead to death. God forbid that we any th that's be anyone's portion. Again, she is right. It could have been that something as horrible as village people, or it could have been that just a mere complication. Which again, there can be there can be complication, and people can downplay such complication and not raise awareness regarding such complications because they are more than. Because somebody can even go through prenatal depression and go crazy and remove their clothes and run around naked. And people can say, hey, see the village people, what they've done. Uh, depression. So they don't even treat her for the depression itself. They say, oh, it's the village people that have made her crazy. So it can go two ways. Um, she had a point, though, not everybody is happy for you. That is one truth that I know. And not everybody that is following you on social media and coming to check your videos is happy for you. That is for sure. Somebody else is saying, in as, ma in as much as putting everything about you on social media is not right. But who, who, who go die, go die. She's not the only one that posted about her pregnancy. A lot of pregnant women on social media die every day. May God help us all. So that's another person who said that. Somebody else is saying, why expose your body on social media at all? In the name of you want to prove to the whole world that you're pregnant? My sister, the world is evil. Save yourself from some stress. Another one is saying, honestly, this is the new, their new trend of exposing body and pregnancy to the world. It's really disturbing to me and I fear and all. And, you know, the, the comment goes on and on and on. The long people talked and talked. So let me read from you guys. Let me read from you guys. Actually, you have known, you know me, my stance on this. You know how I think and what I think about the entire situation. Again, if you are coming late, I came here the way I am. And I said that I am the way I am because this is how I appear on social media. If you are new here, I appear with no makeup and my hair like this. And the reason why I appear like this is because I am practicing self-acceptance in the year 2020. No wig, no makeup. If you don't like it, if it, if the way I appear make you feel uncomfortable, you go be exit the video now before I even continue talking. So anyway, let me not di disturb my face and, st and start reading from you guys. And I will read, um, I think that a lot of you guys have, have written a lot of things here. Oh, today there's a lot of things. That people have written I'm gonna just uh, so Fiona appeal somebody is saying that you're naturally beautiful thank you for seeing that only beautiful I see is beautiful in other people so that's nice that you have that somebody uh, somebody Fiona appeal is saying the message was put out by Nicole's mom they put on another statement to say she did not die during labor Ah, okay and it didn't happen anything to do with pregnancy complication. It didn't have anything to do with pregnancy complication. Okay. 
I digress. So she just, the, a pregnant woman who was complaining of having shortness of breath and feeling pain all over her body just suddenly dies. And then it has nothing to do with the pregnancy itself. I take back my words. It's, it's okay. It's okay. The family wants privacy to mourn and they are not ready to disclose the cause of death just as yet. The family have lots have lost a daughter, grandchild, and Boga has lost his whole family on, on one go. Absolutely. And it's very sad. Somebody else has... Um, um, somebody else is uh, saying, stop this nonsense. When family are briefing you, don't come here and bash them. Know it all. Why not live your life and let other people's be? All of us will die from something. Uh, what, 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 what? Alex Kumi, thank you for your for, for contributing and thank you also for watching. Um, love of the body, somebody, I don't know. She was so young as well, only 24. Alex, how is she busting them? I just came, okay. So, um, so somebody is saying you're correct. Love of the body, but... Uh, but they don't take black women seriously in the country. When you are a black woman in diaspora and you are pregnant, please, please pay attention and you have to insist. If you feel something funny, like if the, the shortness of breath alongside with the vomiting and because there was a, another video that she mentioned that, that she just feels like she lost, like her eyes cannot see and she was having pain on her on her, you know, and numbness here, and all of a sudden she was running to throw up, and she actually felt danger and ran to the doctor, but she was told, no, it's just, it's just normal. You're carrying an entire human being without test, without nothing, and she was just sent home like that. And I think that, I feel like the doctors might have let her down. That's just me. I'm sorry. The doctors might have let her down. So... And Fiona is saying the shortness of breath isn't uncommon. Um, but you know, like you don't, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, when you feel you have to insist to run tests for you to know, cause you cannot like, okay, you can have shortness of breath and can say, okay, I'm pregnant. That's why I'm having it like this. But sometimes it's good to be on the safe side by running tests and, you know, knowing if you're not suffering, even if she was not suffering from preeclampsia itself. Because to be honest, the entire time she was talking about her pregnancy and, you know, and the shortness of breath and whatnot. And, and I just kept thinking preeclampsia, preeclampsia, preeclampsia. That is what, because for me, mostly the symptoms of preeclampsia, and it's very common with pregnancy, so yeah um um uh, it is important to talk about this awareness is in black women fiona appear uh if if a cough also is a cough also common was she coughing i'm not sure or are you coughing this world of social media alex kumi is saying this world of social media has made everybody an expert or something to talk about without any facts Ah, okay, Alex, I see that you are very hard on women issue. Have you ever died or have you ever had problem in pregnancy? Or are you a black woman? Because you know very well that that mortality rate is very high when it comes to, to, to black women, paternal men, mortality. And it's not, it's not something that is just a joke. It's not a joke. So we have to talk about it. And you're not a woman. You don't have uterus. What is your problem? Why are you coming here? to come just to criticize on women issue. What is your problem? Eh? I am not here to start exchanging words with you, my friend, because nobody forced you to click this video. Nobody told you, you must click. There was no, no gun on your head that forced you, click this video, click this video. Go and sit down with fellow men and discuss men, men issues. There are many things that you guys need to discuss that you are now here coming on the women matter. What is your problem? Hmm? What is your problem at the end of the day? So anyway, and uh, a preeclampsia common among pregnant women, yeah, it is. It is. And uh, 
and it was said that black women suffered it the most. I'm here in uh, Cameroon and preeclampsia is killing women here. Mary Kimby is, is a nurse. So she would tell you, Mary Kimby is actually a nurse. So um, somebody is asking what is preeclampsia and I've already told you hypertension is, is common in black people and usually the, the brucoso for whatever preeclampsia and somebody is saying, okay, that one you're talking about sun and affect your breathing, sometimes cause coughing. Um, um, somebody has said Melody for really saying preeclampsia preeclampsia is a pregnancy complications characterized by high blood pressure and signs of damage to another organ system most often the liver and kidney all right Oliver it's common in all women especially in the third third semester after 12 weeks that is what they say that is what I read on on Google that after 12 weeks weeks is very common for people to to go through preeclampsia and usually the doctors pres prescribe aspirin along with other medication that is what I read. So TBC, her death gave me so much anxiety as a black woman who wants to have a baby sometimes. Guys, for me, honestly, I haven't been sleeping. Like I have been watching her vlogs throughout. And sometimes I watch her vlogs and I find myself laughing. Especially there was a vlog that she made when she was in Ghana. I laughed so much through that vlog. I was not even realizing that actually this, la this lady is not here with us anymore. I was laughing because she is just really funny and I entire night I was just watching her vlogs I was just watching her vlog but it is really sad that she's not here with us anymore but anyway all of us with, will one day head that way anyway uh, somebody is saying I think when it comes to pregnancy to black women uh, to do research and know a lot of information exactly people need to know a lot of information if you feel something shortness of breath that somebody feels might be different from what you are feeling so people don't just ignore because for me honestly i feel like even if i feel a pinch of like if it is an i'm uncomfortable i will run to the hospital and i will demand for me to be checked for me to be run blood test i will just demand i i don't care you know like nowadays if you are a black woman you have to be very very uh, insists, insisting you have to insist for these doctors to take care of you if you just they tell you oh yeah just go home you're fine huh that same same go home you're fine might turn out to be something else because there are very occurrences when they misdiagnose people out here and you have to be like take charge of your own health you know you don't say no for an answer until you know for sure that it has been tested and it has been ruled out that whatever is happening to you is not something that is uh, is not something that is dangerous otherwise if you just hear these caucasian doctors tell you are ah, you fine just go back home you just go back home but something might be wrong so if one doctor turned you away go to another doctor and stay there until you get checked you say ah ah check me now i need to check hmm? you should see me in the hospital there was one day that i was being sent away i told them ah, why are you sending me? Is it because I'm black? <laughs> and these people was like, okay, sit down. We will, the doctor will be online next time. I'm in the ambulance. And somebody was sending me back home without treating me. I caused chaos in that hospital until I saw the doctor. So it is very easy for you to be, you know, somebody else. They could have given her CS in emergency. That is exactly what I was thinking because she was already eight months. They should have had, oh God, I don't know. I'm surprised the baby, um, it, it really needs to be investigated. She was only 24, very young because I don't know, like let's say if, if a mother gets unconscious or something happens to the mother, Maybe they are far away from the hospital by the time they reach there, the, you know, it has been fatal to the baby. It can only happen that they can do emergency section if the mother is, is unconscious. If the hospital is near and if the ambulance don't take, you know, come immediately. But sometimes you find that she might have been sleeping and, you know, they woke her up and she was already like gone long time ago. You never know, man. 
these circumstances is everyone is now trying to figure out you know but you never know what really happened and i don't know man i don't know i don't even want to imagine this is very deep it is very deep so um high blood pressure and protein in the urine are key features exactly melody and thank you for giving us this information there may also be swelling in the legs and water retention but this can be hard to distinguish from normal pregnancy exactly uh no not aspirin uh preeclampsia is essentially high blood pressure induced uh into uh, induced by pregnancy women usually die because it turns into into eclampsia where blood pressure is very high accompanied by scissors i read somewhere about this aspirin but at what point does pregnant women take aspirin because there is there is a, a a point where they get given they give it they they are given aspirin to take and i will go and and google that and find out okay you are speaking the truth maybe someone was jealous of her her relationship she was so in love man according to what i thought i thought i saw uh you could get health insurance and give birth in a private hospital in a if in London, have an honest and open discussion with your midwife um, and ob ob obstetrician about the, the yeah okay you are speaking the truth um blessings it well the dead is unknown so stop spreading fake news uh okay okay someone is saying is about the the fake news i don't know People can pray badly for you when you reveal your blessings. You got to be careful. Okay, Fiona, somebody is saying between people with preeclampsia are monitored even more closely, like weekly, when it's close to delivery time. So if she could have had it, but it it would not surprise me, guys, that she was neglected. It would not su su surprise me. Because a lot of black women in diaspora get really neglected when it comes to medical care. It is very common. The truth is people aren't good. We don't know the cause of her death, but this social media will cause harm uh, to many people. Um, may her soul rest in peace. I feel for her and family. They need to investigate her death. Yes, she is half Caribbean. Okay. Thank you, Fiona. Uh, it felt like it was caused by the shortness of breath. I don't trust. Uh, I wish there were more black nurses and doctors in Germany. I wish that more people of color were actually also practicing medicine so that they can help more. So guys, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, you guys, there's a lot of comment on this live today, but I'm going to end this live here. And what else would I want regarding the the fund the PayPal medical appeal for Collins just to give you a little bit of update is that the money is not yet reached my hand. The money has been has been is supposed to be to be reaching my hand, but they say that it takes quite time for it, them to transfer it. So I'm still waiting by next week or I don't know, three to four working days for it to reach me. So when it reaches me, I'm going to update you guys regarding everything because the entire money the entire check or whatever the people you guys contributed uh it is how much money yet uh i'm still of course the the donation is still open so when when it's closed i'm going to tell you guys exactly how much money i've received in my hand and then yeah from there we will know but for for now what i know is that they, they have begun treatment little by little and people have really poured their support from all over social media and thank you guys so much for your contribution and may god bless you a lot and i will see you in my next video have a lovely day bye bye